Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in this demo of System Center Essentials 2010, I want to talk about backup and restore. SKI is pretty important to your business to manage your infrastructure, so if it goes horribly wrong, you need to be able to get it back from the dead. And one of the obvious ways of doing that is to start with a new installation and then put all your data back on top of it. And that's what I want to go through here. So before I start doing backup, I want to look at what we need to do to do the restore. I've got a clean virtual machine here clean except for the fact I've got SQL Server installed on it, as you can see, but no SKI databases. I've got no SKI components installed, as you can see in here. And finally, if I look at Server Manager, I've just got these roles installed. So completely clean machine except for the installation of SQL Server. The first thing I need to do is to install SKI um, out of the box, and I'm going to do that now. I've already made a video on how to install it, so I don't see any point in watching that again. So I'm going to cut the video, come back when that's installed, and we'll look at configuration. Ski has now finished installing, but I haven't done anything to configure it. We can see it's installed because we've now got the System Center databases in here, Virtual Manager database, System Center Essentials, SUSDB, and so on and so forth. We can see in program files, we've got the system essentials binaries, we've got wake and so on. And we've got WSUS installed as a server role on this machine. However, we're far from done because although Active Directory is still seem to be working okay and the machines that we're monitoring have still got the agents on, they're not actually connected to this installation of SKI. Nor have we got all of the old updates that we've installed or any of the history about how those services are performed. In order to do that, we need to restore backups of SQL Server databases and bring across security credentials so that we can properly manage those machines. So I'm going to start to do that now. And the way I'm going to do that is to shut down this virtual machine, go back to the virtual machine that I have SKI running on before and make the various backups that I need so you can see what needs to be done. The first thing I need to do to protect SKI is to back up all the databases that it relies on. There's some guidance for this on the SKI Tech Center, and I'll put the links at the end of my video. I've done a very simple thing here. I've just decided to back up all the databases with this simple script, and I'm just going to run that now. That's going to start creating a load of backups on this F drive that I've got, which is actually a VHD. And because we're in a virtual world, I can, when I finish making up all the backups I need, I can simply detach this VHD from this virtual machine, then attach it to another virtual machine, and then do the restores from there. OK, that backup's executed successfully. My backups are all here. Notice I've also backed up reporting services. The next thing I need to back up is all of the data files that I've got kicking around here. So under Windows Update Content, WSUS has stored all of the updates that we need. We probably want to move that to backup to say pulling it back down again. So I've just dragged that across to my backup and let that start copying. As you can see, it's quite big. Under SKI here, I've got the Virtual Machine Library. That could also be substantial, but I haven't started using that yet. Then we need to start worrying about management packs. And then if I want to go into certificates, and I've got a certificate store here, just go up one and we'll have that as well onto our backup drive. Those aren't the only certificates we need, and I'm going to start going through those now. First of all, reporting services. Reporting services has a configuration manager, which I've got open, and I can back up my keys. I'll just call it SSRS, put a password in to protect it, and OK. You should have done this anyway. There's my SSRS key done. Next thing I need to go and get is the WSUS certificate. And to do that, I need to run an MMC snapping. 
Just need to add in the certificate snapping. In this case, certificates. And I need the computer account for this local computer. Hit OK. You can see down the end here, I've got WSUS. There's the certificate. And I now need to export that. Export the private key, include everything, give it a password, give it a file name, call it WSUS certificate, and save. The final key that we need is the SKI key itself. And to get to that, the easiest thing to do is go to the command line with administrative privileges. And from the System Center Essentials installation folder, run the secure storage backup command. This brings up a wizard. And it just asks if we want to back up or restore the encryption key. In this case, we want to back it up. We give it a path. I'll call it SKI 2010 key. Give it a password again. And finish. Final piece of the puzzle is registry keys. So I need regedit for that. Under HK Local Machine, Software, System Center Essentials, export those settings, check it's all there, and it is. So, just a review. We made a load of database backups. We got some system files. We copied the certificates out of the SKI install directory. We exported registry settings for SKI. We exported a reporting services certificate and the WSUS certificate. So I can shut this virtual machine down now and go back and restore this on to my blank virtual machine.